Welcome to my Top 5 Games 2014 list. Just as a disclaimer, these games are completely made up of my opinion, nobody else's. It's games that I had fun with, games that I appreciated coming out in a commercially supported fashion for Linux. This is not including open source games, just commercially available games released on Steam. In number 5, I picked The Witcher 2, Assassin of Kings. Now a lot of people out there are going to be very upset with this choice for this even making the list because when it was released, yes, it had many, many horrible, horrible bugs. A lot of them that are still in need of fixing, unfortunately. I had a lot of fun with this game. I absolutely loved it. The graphics were great. I was completely enthralled with the story. The combat system was just awesome. Best combat system I've experienced so far. And the developer support, the developers actually started working on GitHub in making patches for this game available. It was really nice to see, really nice step forward to try and make things right with the community. And even though it probably should have been released in fully working order to begin with, I have to give them props for working on the bugs and getting into a playable state for from what I can tell, pretty much everybody. Uh, there are still going to be problems with integrated graphics. They have said that they do not support Intel graphics or Mesa graphics whatsoever. So if you are using the open source Nouveau drivers or Radeon drivers, sorry, Witcher 2, you're out of luck. But anybody using the proprietary dri drivers for NVIDIA or ATI, go for it. Give it a try. It is a lot of fun. Number four on my list is Borderlands 2. This is a really fun game. I'm actually doing a playthrough of it right now with my friend John. You'll know him as Battle Buddy in game. It's very funny. The story is pretty hilarious. Um, Jack, Handsome Jack, is probably one of the best written villains I've seen in a very long time. He is what makes the game actually half decent story-wise. There's loot, there's guns, and it has yet to actually crash on me since I replaced my hard drive that was failing and causing everything to crash all at once. So yeah, Borderlands 2. It's absolutely wonderful game. It's a couple years old, but has aged very well. Works absolutely terrifically on Linux hardware and Linux systems of all kinds. And there's even been talk of it supporting 4K right out of the box, which is really nice. One little caveat though, if you like playing RPGs or games based on their story alone, stay away from Borderlands 2, it makes no sense. You will have a very difficult time connecting anything and making anything make sense. But if you're just in it to have fun, Borderlands 2 is a great way to do that, bring a friend along. In number 3, an indie has made my list, an indie game that I am just loving and playing the crap out of right now. Ziggurat. You saw I did two videos of it. It was so good I did an early look and I did a second look once it was officially released. It's got beautiful graphics. The combat feels awesome. It's floaty first person style. Basic RPG road like randomly generated spell shooter. Quite the description. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense with that description. But this is one of those games that I encourage everybody to check out. It worked on my Intel laptop. That's Intel based graphics while I was in hospital. Works on my NVIDIA graphics. Works on my friend's ATI graphics using open source drivers. This game is just beautiful. It's wonderful. This is everything that we want in a really good Linux game, especially available commercially and that are, they're asking money for it. And in my opinion, they can probably ask for more. This is one of those games that everybody should go out and get. It's highly recommended by multiple people. Don't just take my word for it. Go check out other videos. Total Biscuit did a video on it, and it is just an amazing game. Just like all roguelike games, it can be a little bit repetitive, but the developers are still developing this game. They are adding in content as often as they see fit. So that repetitive nature of roguelikes really has not been much of an issue for me at all playing Ziggurat. I think by now I've put uh, let me actually I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go check right now I'm gonna check steam and ziggurat I have put in 28 hours in this game 
28 hours. It is a really fun game. It is absolutely amazing, and everybody should try this one. Number two, XCOM, Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within. Enemy Unknown, of course, being the base game, Enemy Within being the expansion. Now, the reason that this made my list, I was a big fan when XCOM came out on Windows, this remake. I loved the original XCOM. I still have XCOM, in a way, the open source engine that has been produced. I have been playing that in Linux for I don't know how long now. And it's nice to see the commercially supported game from Firaxis makes its way to us. The graphics are great. Uh, the expansion ported with the game. The gameplay is just awesome. It just works, which is nice. The port seems perfect. Like they took out all the stops and they just made it work as best as possible on Linux. One little problem with this game, it can be a little bit frustrating. Everything seems a little bit too random sometimes. Everything is a dice roll. You could have something lined up, 99% chance of hitting, and you'll get a miss by a mile for some strange reason. I don't know why, that's just the way the game was designed. It has this huge random element in it that really makes you focus on your strategy and make sure that unless you have a 100% guaranteed chance of doing something, you have your guys in their proper spots, making sure they're in cover and making sure they're not taking damage whenever possible. You really have to take care of them. If you're going to play this game and you like to punish yourself like I seem to do, play on hard, play on Iron Man mode. So any decisions you make, you are stuck with. It really makes for an enjoyable and challenging experience, which for me is a big part of playing games, especially strategy games like XCOM. It's all about the challenge and how can I make this work without getting killed horribly. And my number one game Linux release of 2014 is going to go to Sid Meier's Civilization V. Civilization has been a staple of the gaming world for I believe something like 20 years now with the original release of Civilization. We have free Civ that we've been able to play on Linux since forever. It's an open source kind of fan-made version of Civilization. Civilization V changed the game up. It made it go from squares to hexes, changed up all the rules, and once all the expansions were released, made for an extremely enjoyable and extremely complete Civilization experience. And it was brought over to Linux superbly well. Aspire has done an amazing job like we've come to expect from them. And it just works. It really just works. They have made sure everything works the exact same on the Linux version as it does on the Windows version, except for mod support. You still have to do a little tweaking to get mod support. But if you're using Linux, then chances are you know how to tweak and you're not afraid to go in and do it. So I'm not taking any points away from that because the base game is just superb. I play it all the time. I have been playing a lot of Beyond Earth right now and I'm still playing a lot of Civilization V. I jump between the two regularly when I'm looking for a strategy game to play. There you go guys, that's my top five Linux game releases of 2014. If you have a comment, please do leave a comment. If you like this video, please do like this video. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.